a form of, I see painting as a form of visual research. So each painting or each group of works uh, fulfill a certain kind of um, knowledge requirement for me. So I do a certain amount of research and I begin to uncover, reveal um, visual historical materials that I'm very, very attracted to, that resonate for me, that have a certain um, crystalline cultural, it's a crystalline cultural resource because of the moment in time and where it comes from. And I, I'm very interested, as I mentioned in the interview that we published in the catalog, I'm very interested in, in the passage of time and how culture develops and recirculates as we move forward. And we always have a retrospective um, aspect to, to our artistic thinking. So, and we want to move forward and to provide new material, new potential uh, ways of thinking about our world and what is possible to construct in a visual sense moving forward. This is usually a very strong architectonic um, approach to composition and making it a successful um, visual manifestation. It takes, it takes time and thought. So all of that, I want all of that to be um, visually present and to be able to be experienced in an emotional way. So I think a, 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 a painting is an emotional field as well as a, um, an energe energized uh, pictorial field. Well, I've, I've always been very um, attracted to the, uh, these lambricans are, are a kind of uh, folk architecture. So they're, they exist in different parts of the world and they're, um, they're usually um, architectural um, devices that have a certain kind of uh, um, use value in, in a building situation. So I wanted to just liberate them from that architectural context and turn them into a more, um, more of a fantastical, um, um, this is more of a fantastical situation. So it's, 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 it's a, it's an architectural fantasia, in a, in a sense. I, it's, this is a very, very nice exhibition for me because it's almost, um, it, it's, it's, it's kind of exemplary in terms of the way I go about doing things. I mean, I'm very interested in, in, in natural history and in, in kind of, um, uh, unusual uh, uh, creatures. Uh, these are um, these are diatoms, so um, Echinus diadema. So that refers to the diatom. So the the diatom is you you may know that it's the uh, there are freshwater diatoms and saltwater diatoms, and they're um, the the. Um, the origin of life in the sea, marine life. They're, they're tiny um, um, plants. They, they have a, um, uh, a glass-like structure. They're microscopic. And there are just thousands upon thousands of species 
throughout the world. And I've collected many um, uh, scientific works that define these, identify them, and their geographical location. And as you can see, I like to put the um, striations of color through the screen. So it's called a, a spray font approach to putting the oil paint onto the uh, screen, onto the paper. So we have um, various colors that are, are just little, little, little um, spoonfuls of oil paint, bright oil paint, right next to each other, lined up in a row. And then I, I will do this, this kind of um, very um, intensified um, pushing of the paint through the screen, which is a, essentially a stencil. So I, I do it very, um, with, with, with great gestural um, uh, determination. And then that, those are printed onto this Japanese paper, Gampi paper. Um, Toronoko Sekishu Gampi, which is um, uh, made from a wild shrub growing um, on, the, on the foothills of, of Mount Fujiyama. It's, it's, it's a lovely process, really. It, it just, it, it, it's just it's what, I, it's what I really love to do. It, it's, it, it's, it's, I'm able to make this, this uh, pictorial fiction in this way. You know, it's, it's, uh, um, I, I, I tend to get bogged down in technicalities because that's what I love. I love, I love, I love the technical stuff and I love the, um, but it, it's, it, it's good for people to realize how, um, how much goes into the making of these things because it's, you wouldn't really, I, I, and, and I think that's the importance of the painting, is it for people to uh, look and look and look at these and to think about, is there something miraculous about this? <laughs> That's what I want them to think. This is, this is a, like a, a miraculous event, you know, almost like, like an epiphany. I think it should be, I think painting should do that. And, and it's, it's intellectually and emotionally gratifying. It gives us something, gives us hope, gives us a sense of one human making something for another human being to, to follow in the footsteps of the making of it and the, and, and, you know, so that's the importance of it, I think. And, you know, I, I, and, and I really think on a, on, a, on a cultural, psychological level, I, maybe I'm being too, uh, I mean, I have to say this to myself, but I, I feel as though I'm being, I'm being, um, you, you know, that this is, this is, this is, this is what we need. This is necessary. This is a gift to the world that at this moment in time, it's sort of, it feels radical to me.